um, when I did my first class, this video is about resistance, I guess. Uh, when I did my first class in the technology I currently teach, uh, the weekend before, or two weekends before, I'd done the fire walk with Tony Robbins, and it was interesting. Uh, the dilemma was, part of the dilemma was when I got there, one of my patients walked up to me and said, are you going to walk on hot coals the first night? And I said, yeah, of course I am. And then I thought, what am I doing here if I'm so confident I can do this? But uh, they had special deals, and they had you run to the back of the room to sign up for the special deal. And uh, I kind of played a trick on them. They said, if you come with four people, you can uh, get a special discount. So I said, you know, to three people in line, I said, are there three singles here? And they said, yes, okay, let's go in as four. And so then we got up front, and they said, you can't do that. And I said, when well, you said come with four people, I came here with four people. and uh, But they didn't. And about two weeks later, uh, one of my patients had done a seminar and said I was going to do the seminar, called me at my house, I told the story, and uh, said if I said no or hang up that he would not, that he would come to my house and bother me until I did the seminar. He was pretty adamant that I was going to do it. Uh, so I got to the seminar Friday evening. I got off work. It was The dilemma was taking Saturday off uh, because I worked Saturday mornings. But I got, I rescheduled all my patients and got to the hotel where the seminar was being held. And the registration desk was outside the seminar room and I laid down my uh, American Express credit card, or not credit card, my American Express card, which I no longer carry. And there's reasons on that. If you want to look that up, look up in my videos, American Express. I don't trust them anymore. Uh, so I don't do business with them. And they said, well, we don't take credit cards of any sort. And I said, oh, um, what do you take? And they said, um, cash or check? <laughs> I kind of laughed. I mean, this, I know it was 20 years ago, but uh, most seminar systems couldn't wait to get your wallet out of your pocket and your credit card out of your wallet and run it through their machine. And, and so I said, okay, well, what are you going to do about this problem? And they said, well, it's not really our problem. And I said, well, don't you want me in a class? And they said, no, we don't really care. <laughs> I'm thinking, what the hell is this about? Is this a sign from God not to do the seminar? You know, all this resistance? So I had to go get a cash advance on my card and take it up to the room. And, I mean, it just it seemed like all of these things were saying, don't do this class. And I persist mainly because my patient had called me and uh, said, if you don't do it, I'm going to come to your house. Uh, he created a tremendous amount of value from it. Uh, as I've said in the past, it is the best thing I've ever done in my life. Uh, it's shifted everything in my life. It's why I now teach it. Uh, if I would go with the signs, uh, the signs would say, no, don't do it. That's why I didn't go with the signs. I went with uh, fear and intrepidation and intimidation. <laughs> Have fun. www.micpeakperformance.com